so now you're smiling up wider than time busted free of this wheel of age I was click forward and backward helix spin down below up for the gas Hi, a quick hello. My name is Hudson Like. You're about to watch a montage of um, about 11 people that I did a reading for in the fall. Um, so you can get an idea of what it's like to do an astrological reading with me. Um, I have absolutely great love to do this work and I can think of no higher thing for us as human beings to do than to better understand ourselves. And this is just one modality out of many modalities to do just that. And when we understand ourselves better, we can make different choices. We can make better choices. We can have more love, more self-esteem. And when we have those kind of things in our lives, then we walk around with those new ways of being and these new ways of thinking, and we affect the rest of the world because we're all affected by each other. So the more we heal and take care of ourselves, the more we put that into the rest of the world. So with that, thanks for watching and enjoy. Yes, hi Eden. Yay, hi. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. A lot of information. So I'll try to make it palatable for you so you can understand it. This whole thing is about learning, especially because you're young, learning how to use everything in your crayon box, all the colors in your crayon box. When I'm reading all the signs, it's like a cake. So making a cake is not just one ingredient. It's a mixture of all of these. But I'm talking about one in one particular place at a time. But you're going to have to mix them all together. Okay. okay? You're not just one thing. You know I don't believe in the, the astrology side of things. However, I want you to know I do believe it can be helpful. Right? And any, anything can be helpful if you use it in the right way. Uh, your chart is really interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you had your chart done before ever? No, I am actually, uh, I'm not a believer in astrology or huh. any kind of... Metaphysical? Any kind of spirituality I struggle with. And I, I just want to say before we start that I really want this information to be the most healing to you as possible, the most loving, with the most awareness yeah. that serves you. That you get to learn how to hold with love. So instead of the outside fixing it and feeding it and taking care of it, you get to learn how to bring it back towards yourself and how to meet that. Because when you do that, you meeting you is going to be better than anybody else can meet you it's going to be different of course other human beings are amazing to meet you but it's not the same they don't know where that god-shaped hole is in you only you know just listening to me one of your your aspects of being able to hear is you feel so you're listening to whether it feels correct to you or not it's not a normal listening of other people just with words. You have a depth to you, which you're able to feel and penetrate into what's happening. Yes? Yes. So you have these two things that fight with each other a bit. The Sagittarius, uh, not fight, but they're challenged by each other. So you have an innate ability to nurture. What I would ask of you as your unknown friend, is that you learn to nurture self. Do you get it? Yep, I get it, yeah. Are you, are you, do you see what I'm talking about within yourself? Yes, everything you've said so far makes perfect sense on at least some level. And you're reading me very, very well. Your ability to read someone right away and your hunger to read them you have a hunger to understand the being in front of you that is very, very deep. And it makes, I'm not afraid of it. Other people may be threatened by it when they see you because there's such a depth to it. So if you're willing with that Aquarius and Mars to 
question even yourself of how you see things, how you hold things, how you move and take action in the world. That's what's going to support you to start allowing yourself to nurture self more. You have this other aspect of you that's like got the sword out and like, let's go. And then your Jupiter, where you feel the most joy is um, learning and teaching. Like Sagittarius are all about learning and teaching things and both go hand in hand. I know this is going in. <laughs> like a big steamroller. Your Capricorn rising could hate that, could feel like, God, why can't you be quiet? But you can't seem to help yourself. You've just got things to say. And then the other part really judges what you've just done. Look how cute you are. You're all shiny and happy. Yes? Are you accurate? <laughs> yeah, that's, I actually had it tattooed. I don't know if you can even see it. Partially, kind of. Oh, lovely. It's beautiful. <laughs> So here's the challenge that I get in this moment with you. So um, they're the opposite of cancer, which is the, the most emotional of all the signs, right? So the, the opposite of that, they're more like the stern father figure of like, I'm going to pull it in, I'm going to reel it in, I'm going to make it happen. Now, when you have, you have your two other signs are in Scorpio, you cannot get more passionate than that. So you have- yeah the intensity of all of these feelings that people could not even imagine how deep you go. And yet at the same time, you have this natural inclination to be like, I'm fine. Anything that's going to help you feel like you're coming back to yourself, you're calling all those pieces back to yourself, not all spread out, but back home where you can sit with self. Yeah, you're right. You're very right about that. I know that you're safe. You're safe. You're safe. I promise you're safe. Promise. Do you mean right now or do you mean in my life? I mean in this moment. Just this moment right now. That, that's all we have is one moment at a time. Right. I even know that. It's okay. It's okay. You don't know me, so you don't know what I'm saying yet or how I say things. So it's okay to ask questions or not know but kindness towards self, yeah. kindness, kindness. Yeah. Learn, learn how, what that looks like. You get to learn it, you get to learn it. You get to learn it. You get to get off that story that you're not worthy of it. You get to, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter what your head tells you. It doesn't mean because your brain comes up with whatever it tells you that it's true. It doesn't. Okay. Can you relate to anything I just said? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I relate to it quite a bit. I really do. It's, uh, it's articulating something that is kind of like, um, kind of like always been there, but you've never bothered putting words to. How did that feel to you? Does that feel accurate to you? It feels 110% accurate. You, you've you just described me in so many ways that I couldn't even put into words myself. And it's, yeah, this, this reading just really felt like a call to the self and I'm really grateful. So if that's what you think takes to, to calm that, to get me out of that spot and, and, and to let myself be a better person, then- I'm Not a better person not a better person that's a judgment well i you know what i mean yes but i just want to correct that because a better me very, yes better you and but it's actually it's actually where you really fall in love with yourself hmm. where you can really fall in love with yourself deeply that's what i want you to have and it's not about just hearing you they're going to be able to grow from the wisdom that you have to share do you get what i'm saying so that's really beautiful. But the thing I would, the thing I would say for you is go deep within yourself. Try to allow yourself to feel, allow that. 
and don't attack self. Don't attack. No attack. Even the parts of you that you don't like, especially the parts that you don't like, no attack, only compassion, because those parts are suffering. Thank you. Learning to have the compassion for the tenderness that's inside you, because you were never, you never witnessed it. You know how to do it. You know how to do it for others, but for self, it's a blank spot. So far, so far, and not completely blank. Of course, not completely blank, but there's lots of room in there for you to grow, where you can really learn how to sit with self in a really kind, compassionate way. Did that feel good to you? That, that, was, that was amazing. Um, you, you were spot on with everything. Okay. I felt like it was pretty spot on. I couldn't think of anything specifically that didn't, uh, that wasn't a, 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 an overt generality. But I also couldn't find anything that was actually flawed because it was pretty spot on with just about every single aspect. Um, well, I felt like you've known me since I was about six and a half, so a little creepy. A little creepy. <laughs> it is nice to know that you're not alone in your struggles when somebody else can verbalize something that you're afraid to talk about or don't know how to talk about. Yeah, and so necessary so necessary especially for our world right now let's breathe together let's be together let's slow everything down what do you need in this moment you are going to learn to be that person for yourself where you won't need it from the outside i hope so feels like a weight's lifted off to be honest thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it really means a lot and you've actually helped me a lot like more so than i am expected so Woo! yay yay pass it on girl pass it on i will you got so much love in there <laughs>